guys thanks for coming back to the channel and today we actually have a video that um could be i guess looked at as useful to some of you guys who are considering buying uh a c43 and this is just pretty much information that i honestly wish i looked more into before i cop or before i got um the c43s so mainly this video is going out for the 2019 and up models so the facelift models um there's just a few things that i just want to like you know talk about i mean we're, we're going real quick to the spot that um you know i'll be able to talk to you guys more in depth about um but just a quick rundown here until we get there um just a few things i wanted to mention what i liked about this car but then of course there are some things i actually do not like about this car at all now they could be just some things that um you know i'm just picking at i mean they don't they don't really make the car any less of a car in my opinion it's just something that i'm picking at but um for sure for sure i honestly wish i did pay attention to some of these things because the c43s as some of you guys may know can be pricey depending on you know how many options and how you spec them out etc etc um so my car if it originally came you know like with 30 miles out the factory and sticker price out the door after taxes and everything was close to around 70 grandish which is a pretty good amount of money if you ask me for you know um just the 43 models i mean you're not even talking you know four liter twin turbo v8 you're still three liter twin turbo v6 at that point now um again there's no um you know there's no reason to self-degrade these things but for 70 grand i mean you should be getting a lot of um you know really like top of the line things in terms of car especially in a mercedes so i'll be going over a lot of those things um but until we get there i just wanted to give you guys like a quick rundown or over overview of what the video is going to be about um again i i love this car um what the, what the hell is this person gonna go hello okay i guess we just have to wait for this guy okay anyways um regardless back to what i was saying uh so regardless if there are a lot of good things about this car i mean that's obviously why i bought the car or why we got the car but again there are some things that um i really do wish oh the sun glare um i really do wish i honestly paid attention to and um you know i i think i hope actually i hope um that some of you guys who actually do buy a c43 really you know watch this video and actually like pay attention to some of the things that i'm gonna say because this honestly might be a game changer for some of you guys depending on if you want to buy this car or not so um without further ado let's get straight to the video okay so we have officially made it to the spot as you guys can see the car is parked over here um it is pretty cool that's why i got my hoodie up right now but anyways regardless let's get back to this car um so i'm gonna just talk about first the good things of this car so both exterior and interior everything i like about this car and then um the you know the cons everything i don't like about this car everything i wish i paid attention to and would have done more research into um before i got the 2020 c43 so first thing about the exterior of the car so the exterior of the car that i really liked about this right away was obviously the body lines now in black i think it shows the best you guys can see the body lines from the side profile is really amazing I, and i personally love it um the hood that you guys get with these cars you get a line a nice line on this side line down the middle another line down that side i think it really uh makes the front end of the car look much better in my opinion and just the overall design of this hood and just the side uh body lines of this car really really does make it stand out and you know this is this is something that i really you know look into as a car enthusiast before i buy a car for sure the body lines the shape of it and just the w205 chassis in general i feel like is the best um c-class body style that they have made and then moving on to the back of the car for sure now the back we got a lot going on over here so obviously what i what i love about this car even though this these are fake exhaust tips over there on both sides as you can see let me give you guys a quick close up you guys see the little exhaust over there and then i don't know why mercedes do that but regardless i think it looks really nice back here um the diffuser is solid um but however i am changing it for the brabus lookalike with the third brake light so i'll be installing that real sh soon i'll make a video guys for you about that but just look at look how wide this car looks from the back it looks really nice the ass on it is just insane um it has like that rounded shape to it and for sure the back part of the car you know is something i really love but since we're we're back here so and i was talking earlier about the exhaust tips this exhaust system if you guys get the c43s you have to you have to you have to and i cannot stress that enough you have to get the amg performance exhaust i think it's about it's an option it's about 1300 to 1400 dollars i believe on these cars but it's well worth it i'll show you guys 
what these what these things actually sound like when you turn them on um you know I'll, I'll try getting in a few polls for you guys but these are just insane so if you guys get the 2020 or 2019 c43s and all the facelifted models make sure you're looking at the paper and it says amg performance exhaust and one of the final things i actually like about this car in terms of the exterior part of it is the brakes so these brakes come four piston out front and two piston in the back um so these brakes are stainless steel obviously they're not uh, you know none of those carbon ceramics because i mean i don't think you need a carbon ceramic brake on the 43s but regardless um these brakes for sure do the job um these brakes have actually sh saved my life in so many cases where even in the winter here in michigan where we drive around you know and you got to stop your car and you know just really really bad horrible drivers i don't even know how the hell these people get their licenses this car or these brakes have helped me from so many car accidents and honestly i cannot have I cannot stress that enough these brakes are really really good so so but the only con about these brakes is the absolute brake dust now mind you i clean i try to clean this thing like every week about once or twice you know i'm i'm a really busy person but just look at this like you're gonna have to be dealing with this 24 7 and there really is no um you know running away from it uh i recently changed these brakes about 1000 miles ago so every 20 25,000 miles ish on these things these these brakes you know gotta be changed um i did the maintenance and all that uh on or at, by at a nearby benz dealership so if you guys want to watch the video on that i made like a small tiktok on it um i'll leave the link name to my tiktok in the description below for you guys to watch it but other than that these brakes are really good but obviously they just accumulate way too much brake dust over time now coming into the inside of the car i know right now it's a bit dirty but this interior is literally spot on compared to the C63 interior. Obviously, they're both C classes. The only difference is, I believe, in the C63s, you can get the AMG performance seats. But these are, however, the standard um, comfortable seats. So if with these seats, you actually get the. These are actually bolstered, so you get the suede, the, uh, the suede Alcantara here in the middle. Oh, look at all that dirt over here. I really gotta clean this car. But regardless, um, these seats, you get suede and uh, Alcantara over here. A nice leather with the red stitching coming around. Um, you get this beautiful red stitching all around the door panels and you know all around the car the carbon parts and everything like that um so you can see right here the pedal shifter extensions i put the carbon parts all around even over here in the back um you know those are just some things i i added i got i got all these parts off ebay so if you guys you guys want to add these for sure for sure i suggest you can add these um but again it's all it's all opinion based because some people actually like the aluminum that's under these but regardless, the interior on this is insane. Um, you get many things. So let me let me actually show you guys. So just here in the center console and the wheel, you guys got a lot, a lot of action going on. Well, basically the steering wheel, you can control pretty much the entire car off this wheel. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a bit. But basically think of it, you know, as the wheel divided in half. So this half of the steering wheel pretty much controls your screen here and, and um, you know, whatever goes on over here. And this half of the steering wheel pretty much controls your digital dash. So you could scroll through the pages and um accessories and things like that that you want to see over here actually which i think is pretty cool but over here in the middle is pretty much where all the magic happens remember i was telling you guys about the amg performance exhaust so over here you guys have pretty much everything so you can scroll through the modes between sport sport plus comfort slippery etc etc and individual mode and then you have your manual mode right here if you want to be in manual um your suspension depending on how stiff you want it to be you can click it and you know it'll pop up right here i'll show you guys everything and how that looks like traction control now this is the button you guys need to have this right here those little two exhaust tips if you guys turn that on and off this is a game changer if you guys drive if you guys get this car and drive this car with this off there's i don't know how or why you got this car this button has to be on at all costs so there's actually two ways to turn on this car um so honestly this is this is something i really love about the 43s because i'm pretty sure in the 63 models you cannot turn on the car like this so there's obviously the regular um you know one foot on the brake and then one foot on the push start and the car turns on but mercedes have actually implemented something called an emotion start in the 43 models so what you do is one foot on the brake down hold one pedal shifter and then with your other hand you push the um the start button so i'm gonna do a quick cold start and show you guys what it sounds like um and honestly it's it really just blows my mind about how this car actually sounds like this stock out the factory with the amg performance exhaust now that wasn't as loud as i wanted it to be because i already am, have driven the car but you know in the morning when you have a good cold start it's cold outside or you just honestly just haven't you know turned the car on in a while this thing is just sounding insane like look look at the exhaust look what they sound like a it's pretty i mean in my opinion it's pretty crazy so 
those are that, that's the main way I turn my car on. Um, but sometimes, you know, I don't feel like I'm in a rush. I just put my brake, you know, my foot on the brake and the other on the push the start button. But um, that's for sure. Again, the main thing before you buy these cars, you have to, you have to, you have to get the AMG Performance exhaust button. Now we move on to the back. So let's say you have some um, guests or you know passengers you want to take on a car ride with you. So again, you get the nice. Let me let me see if I can zoom the camera. One sec. So you get the nice black leather all around with the suede Alcantara over here and the red stitching all around. Um, you get the really nice ambient lighting that actually goes around, that shows around all over the car. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Um, you actually get 64 colors. And this is what pretty much the car looks like from the back over here. Really, really solid interior. Obviously, that's what Mercedes and AMG are known for. Um, so you get over here, you get a really nice charging port, two ports actually, and then the 12 volt. And then over here, you get a nice little uh, place to store your things. So if you have like any napkins or whatever, all your shenanigans that got to be put in here, you can do it. And then cup holder one, cup holder two. Really daily bull car. I mean, it's really convenient. I mean, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much like six foot tall, and I still have a pretty good amount of headroom. Um, not the most, but you know, it's not too bad to the point where like I'm squished and I'm hunched over. I'm actually really comfortable like this and um yeah so the sedan in my opinion as well as since we're talking about interior um for me i just feel like the 43s are better in sedans than they are coupes and then the 63s are better in coupes than they are sedans um of course it's just all opinion based but um if you get the 43s i suggest you get the sedans if you are a really busy person or if you're just going out a lot and you're with your friends it just makes things life more e more easier and actually fun fact i didn't think this at all the 43s sedans are actually lighter than the 43 coupes by about 100 to 150 pounds give or take i couldn't believe that um if you guys want to go look that up on google you guys actually kind of honestly it saves you a lot of weight so if you're going to be racing these things or whatever you never know 100, 150 pounds might be the game changer so back to the front of the car i promised i would show you guys um so how the steering wheel works and then i'll get to the ambient lighting in a bit so this part of the steering wheel so this is pretty much your touchpad this pretty much can just you know go through all the um you know things that you want to see up here so you have your trip so to actually to scroll through these you just go right left it's very simple and up and down so you can scroll pretty much through all these what you want to see so the designs you can you have super sport which is my favorite then you have sport that actually shows you 180 on the dash and everything else and then you have classic but obviously super sports my favorite so i have it set to that now um the ambient lighting system to uh, to get to that you get you go to the home button right here you go to vehicle um light settings ambient lighting and then you actually have 64 colors to choose from so my personal favorites obviously are blue because that's what i have it set to and if you guys want to see what these look like at night you could go visit my instagram i'll leave the link or name to that in my description below but usually blue as you guys can see right here so 34 and um this like really nice 30 29 ish purple color are my favorite and i th those two i think hit the hit the best but um yeah so make sure your car has you know the ambient lighting system as well i just that's like pretty much the cherry on top of the ice cream um so now that's pretty much everything i really love about this car now let's get to everything i do not like about this car so everything i don't like about this car starting from the exterior um you know point of view as you guys can see um so what i don't like and what i actually had to change myself was the stock grill that came on these cars so originally it was just like it was just a line and a circle in the middle then another line um i honestly i didn't like how it looked it had like the little amg logo on the side of it you guys can pretty much go look and you know on google search up oem c43 logo or a grill um i didn't like it personally i think that they honestly should have came with the pen americana grill i think it just completes the car more let me get a give you guys a better view i think it pretty much just completes the car more and um make it gives it more of like you know an aggressive look like but look at this thing i don't know that, that's just me i changed it um i got the grill off of ebay it was you know oem everything was really good I bought it for, I can't remember, I think it was like a hundred and some dollars, but you can find really good ones off of eBay or Amazon or anywhere like that, but just make sure you're reading the, man, the wind, just make sure you're reading the um, the seller reviews, because sometimes they have really bad reviews and they could be like fake accounts and things like that, so that's something I suggest um, looking into. And then moving on to the back of the car, so as some of you guys know that this spoiler that I have right here is not OEM, this is not a stock uh, spoiler, so the spoiler that originally came on this was really really thin 
it was really ugly. It came like, you know, it was literally an inch or half an inch. I, it might as well have came with, without a spoiler, in my opinion. So I took that off and I got this really nice ducktail spoiler as well. I think I got it off of eBay as well for like about $70. Makes the car look much better, especially from the side. And this is what it looks like from the rear. I'll give you guys another point of view. Way, way, way better. Um, only wants that little shitter wing anyways this one's way better makes the car look you know more aggressive especially from the back and i cannot wait to see what it's going to look like with a new diffuser once i install it so that's another thing honestly i didn't really like about this car when i first got it but you know i i got it knowing that i was going to end up you know changing the wing and you know making it the way i want it to make it look so those are pretty much just the things i didn't like on the exterior of the car nothing too much the really the things that i really don't like about this car are more interior so this specific spec and i know um what's it called i know a lot of these cars actually come with you know suede and steering wheels i do not like suede on my steering wheel personally i was a fan of it at first but i never knew that this you know um would peel like this like you really need to like put a lot of maintenance and time into them and i mean i wish i knew that before um because i've really i've never had a, a car that has had a suede steering wheel so this is just a really pain in the ass it becomes you know a wild you know to um you know keep in maintenance make it look clean but i mean this is just something i have to live with eventually i'm gonna probably end up changing the steering wheel for sure still got some life left in the suede but i just really wish that i would have took into consideration that if i do get this wheel and i do get this car i'm gonna have to deal with the you know the suede wearing off eventually and then as i come to sit in this car everything just looks perfect right like you wouldn't expect anything but let me let me actually show you guys something so this is what the c-class interior pretty much looks like for the most part right so this is what 70 grand mind you 70 grand worth of options and car all the goodies mercedes blah 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 this is what 70 grand gets you ready what listen listen what the oh there is no way like i could not believe myself when i was getting in this car like oh my god so the creakiness the build quality of this car is straight garbage and take it from me because i'm literally the, you know the biggest mercedes amg diehard fan like i've loved this company for so much but i really do not know why like this is just insane like the build quality on these things is straight garbage but i'm not gonna lie it does not creak when you drive so if you hit a pothole or whatever you're just driving you don't hear nothing it's dead silent other than your exhaust but just knowing this like in the back of my head that that it creaks like this you know like look like the build quality of just everything um it just it pisses me off but at the same time again i'm just really happy that it doesn't make any noise while i drive because um because you know it's already bad enough the way it is so that those are some of the things i don't like about this car in the interior and one last thing i actually forgot to mention about the steering wheel you can actually get these cars with the steering wheel of just perforated leather all around um, it's very possible you can get them oem out the factory or a dealership but this car you know when i when i found it on the lot just sitting i had to take it because as some of you guys know i got it like right before COVID hit so it was either this or nothing so i have to take this and um you know this is pretty much everything that I have, i'm having to deal with in terms of suede steering wheel but again you can get these leather like fully leather everything the sides you know all that good stuff but um this is just you know what i ended up getting stuck with and then since you know we're coming to the end of the video something i really really just want to stress to you guys like you know something to add on um these cars are not good on gas the c43 even if it's the so-called fake amg which is also something you're gonna have to live with um that people end up calling these things but that's a video for another time um is not good on gas so <laughs> i actually bought the 43 thinking like oh you know it's a v6 it's twin turbo um you know it's not a v8 so it's not a gas guzzler so that, that's a mistake that i i unfortunately made um you know i don't think i've seen 300 miles to a full tank in this in this gas tank you know i i think i fill up with today's gas prices i think full tank is about like close to 90 ish dollars here in michigan 85 90 dollars it's always going up and down um but regardless i get like 250 miles full tank 260 miles 240 depending on how hard i'm driving it and all that good stuff but um yeah, these are not eco-friendly cars just because they're not a v8 and they're not the you know hand-built twin turbo bullshit these are not gas friendly cars i think i live in the gas station you know as my second home i'm there about you know every week i think like twice i've i've been there so much especially to the gas station next to my house i've actually developed a good relationship with the with some of the cashiers in there because you know they, they like my car and they just you know they're used to seeing me in there so much 
But um, yeah, these are not gas friendly cars at all. Just because you know they're not the twin turbo V8. These are honestly these things will drink gas like no tomorrow. So that's also something to you know take into accountability. Now it might be different in some states depending on gas prices, but here in Michigan, the gas is actually right now as we speak is starting you know to go up a bit. So um, you know I wouldn't be surprised if it takes about a hundred dollars within the coming you know few weeks or month or so for this car to be full tank. This pretty much concludes the video. So I hope you guys liked everything about this video, the pros and the cons. Um, so if you guys are considering getting the 2023 C43s or 2019s, the, the W205 body style, um, hopefully that pretty much um, cleared everything up for you guys. Personally, my, my overall advice for you guys is to get these cars, but if you get these cars, you have to know what you want to do to them because there's a lot of things you can do to them in, ter in terms of cosmetics. And there are some things that, you know, you really can't do, such as the build quality, and you're just going to have to live with them. But overall, in my opinion, very beautiful car, very slept on, very overlooked, just because it's not the hand-built V8. Um, but it's very also dailyable. You get the all-wheel drive formatic system with it, about 400 horses, 400 pound-feet of torque. Um, you know, Mercedes tends to lie about their uh, 0 to 60 times, especially about these cars. Um, they say four and a half. I've actually got four one. If you guys want to see that, if you guys don't believe me, you can go check out my Instagram. Posted tons of videos about that. Um, yeah, so there's just many, many things you can do with these cars. And um, I hope, honestly, again, I really do hope from the bottom of my heart that this video actually cleared some of the, you know, debates that some of you guys were having. So thank you guys for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one.